Thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. Here are your top headlines. More details were released today in the case against the Fruitland High School principal and boys basketball coach. We reported that Mike Fitch was charged with one count of soliciting a prostitute and two counts of sexual battery. All are misdemeanors. Court documents say Fitch made a number of sexual advances toward a recently hired female school employee. Records show they included Fitch allegedly sending the victim unsolicited videos and pictures of himself engaged in sexual acts. The documents also stated Fitch offered to pay the victim for sex, which resulted in the solicitation charge. Uh, the victim reported the incidents to the school authorities, who then contacted Idaho State Police. The school says Fitch has been on paid administrative leave since November when the ISP investigation began. Fitch is scheduled to appear in court next week on the charges. In the next step of our Finding Hope coverage, we're exploring outside Idaho to see how neighboring states are combating the opioid epidemic. This week, Karen Lair is in Salt Lake City with a metro area home to about 1.2 million people and like many other major cities across the country, a major opioid problem. Just in the last year, they've made some major progress for one Intermountain Healthcare managed to cut down on prescription opioids by 3.8 million pills. They've cut down on the prescriptions by 30% for both painkillers and prescribed acute pain and the anxiety drugs. We know that the two medications taken together create significant risk for a patient to stop breathing. And we know that it creates a lot of death in the communities. Although Utah ranks seventh in the country for deadly overdoses, they've seen a 12% reduction in recent years. We're, we'll be talking with Intermountain Healthcare tomorrow afternoon to learn more about how they've managed to make such major progress in the short period of time. That, plus much more coming up in our Finding Hope all this week. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Norvell with the On Your Side forecast. It has been an epic February as far as snow goes, and it continues. Here's the Tamarack Resort live snow stake. This is at 530, this update here, and the wind has been whipping across this as well. The snow now coming up to the base of this stake here, which was seven feet above the snow in January, and here is that wind whipping through. It's going to continue for a little while. It will let up tomorrow morning, the wind that is. So if you're planning on doing some skiing, the ski resorts will have better wind conditions tomorrow and a lot of new powder, that is for sure. Some epic powder has been occurring. Now in the valley, basically the wind rides over the Uyahi Mountains. The, the mountains don't block any moisture, by the way. If you've heard that, that is not accurate. The wind then sinks into the valley. That dries the valley. It can dry out the valley and then rises back up the Boise front, causing more precipitation. So we've been getting a lot of rain in northern Ada County. Not seeing it right now, but we're getting waves of it as it pushes on through. Sierra just keeps redeveloping right over the same spot right over here. That's because the air there you get precipitation here and it sinks into the valley and dries out at the driest part of Idaho along the Snake River and then it rides up the mountains here and so that's the way it's set up with the southwesterly flow. No radar coverage in here, not much anyway for the winter time and this is all snow flying and it is coming down at Sun Valley. It's coming down to the West Central Mountains. A huge plume of moisture continues all coming in from the south and west. Winter storm warnings these were in effect from Saturday morning. They'll go all the way till Tuesday at 5 o'clock. So we still have another 24 hours. 8 to 16 inches of isolated 30 inch amounts are possible. And this could be extended because there's more snow to come for Wednesday and Thursday in those higher elevations. Notice here to the south and west, this is an atmospheric river coming straight out of the tropics. It sets up in some years. It happened during Snowmageddon a couple of years ago. And the mountains are getting that this year with record snow at Boga. At Brundage Mountain for the month of February. This storm system is going to get entrained right here in this river of moisture that will track right into Idaho to keep things going to at least Thursday. And then after that, it looks like it may dry out, but some charts are saying it won't. This chart shows snow accumulating in the Treasure Valley. I'm going to watch this closely now, but it does look like it should be warm enough that we won't have this accumulation. But anytime a chart says this, I have to watch this closely. So we're going to watch out for tomorrow morning, especially, and we'll see how things go. But in the mountains, the snow will continue for the next several days, hopefully letting up as we head into the weekend. By the way, we could touch 52 on Wednesday in the Treasure Valley. So the stormy weather pattern continues. If you can download the Storm Shield app, that way you'll get updates on the latest warnings, especially if they're extended. Go to my Facebook page if you want to see all the information about Brundage Mountain and all of the photos that are coming in of the snow in those higher elevations. It certainly has been an epic February. You can do that or get weather updates right here again later today.